Toby Amati versus Stuart Holworth. Toby comes out with some leg kicks there. Big flurry straight away from Stuart. Oh, that was a big knee there. Stuart seems to shake it off. Oh, walks into another one there. Backs off. Maybe, maybe that hurt him there, Harry. It looked like he was um, grabbing his cup a little bit. I don't know if it caught him in the clinch of that. Didn't see. Oh, oh Stuart with some flying kicks now. Beautiful aerial kicks there. Oh! Oh, Toby with some fantastic um, combinations. Really mixing it up there with the, with the straight and the, and the head kick. Wow, really impressed with Toby's tenacity, the way he can switch up from different strikes and they still have that crazy power on the end of them, Harry. Yeah, Toby looks a look much larger man. Flying knee and a miss there by Stewart. Toby seems... Oh, that just missed his mark there. Toby seems very, very comfortable with his hands, as does, uh, does, as does Stuart Howarth. Toby seems to be a lot, a lot more relaxed, though, whereas Stuart Howarth se seems to be going for a bit more of the flying kicks and the, a lot more of the, of, the, of the entertainment factor. Stuart there, trying to work the double leg, switch into the single leg, but can't get it. Toby shakes him off. Brilliant cage control there by Toby. And take down defence as he eats a punch over the top. Both men are starting to look a lot more relaxed now. That head kick seemed like it kind of met. Oh, I love the way Toby just evades and comes back with a counter. Beautiful footwork. You gotta be careful when you throw those leg kicks on their own and don't follow them up or put them up, put them after anything because you leave yourself open. Stuart found that out then moments ago. Stuart driving forward, got the double unders, decides to give up and go low to the legs, using that some good head pressure, but Toby again, precision striking with those knees on the inside of the clinch. Oh, Big that, head that kick the there. Mark. That met the mark, Stuart felt that one. Doesn't seem to have slowed him down or phased him though. Toby able to fire off those leg kicks at will. Both fighters kick at the same time and exchange some hands. A meeting of the minds almost. Stuart Holworth wading in there, initiating the clinch, nice knee oh, on the inside. Stuart hit him in the nuts there, I saw. Oh, okay, so we got a and groin shot there. Ball, yep. Right, so Toby getting some time to recover. Looked like it was unintentional, Harry. Yeah, not intentional whatsoever, just in the moment, the spur of the moment. As you moved, you just caught him. Nothing intentional whatsoever. Yeah, Referee Jay Furness just warning them, advising them of the situation. Giving Toby his time to recover. And he's ready to go. We are back underway. Touch of gloves, some respect there, and they're back at it. Toby commanding the centre of the cage, leads with that lead leg kick there. Stu just needs a little bit more head movement. Seems to be getting a caught a few too many times up against the cage. Needs to try and circle around his opponent. He said he's moving straight back. This is a great exchange. Massive exchange. Big flurries. Hooks from both men. Big knee there as Toby circles to his left. I love the, his foot movement there. He's not there for the counter from Stuart Holworth. Toby seems to be doing a really good job of getting him against the cage and just chopping him down. Can he get the takedown to finish on the round? That could score some points there if we do go to a decision. And that was a lovely double leg right at the end of the round. Brilliant, brilliant opening first round for both guys. Toby seems to pack a little bit more aggression, a little bit more of the action. Caught him a few more times with the head kicks in the, in the left straight in the jabs right against the cage. Seems to be his motive, try and get him against the cage a bit more and squash his man in because Stuart is not a small guy whatsoever. He wants to pinpoint him, control him and trap him down and he's been doing that so far and that takedown at the end just shown it. 
So we could say, Stewart needs to turn up the gear. He needs yeah. to start scoring some takedowns and some heavier punches. Would you say that Stewart needs to keep his hands up? He needs to keep his hands up a little bit more. He's doing well so far with his hands. But at the same time, he's been a bit too relaxed, a bit too not... He's, he's not focusing too much on where his hands should be. He's letting them fly loose a bit too much. I wouldn't object to seeing a little bit more wrestling, a little more grappling exchange from him in, in the second round. They're definitely doing some favours after that entertaining first round. As we get underway here for our second round of action, Toby in the grey tight shorts, Stuart in the white tight shorts. Big kicks again from Toby off the bat, returned by Stuart. Straight away, just as it was in the first round, the same action continues in the second. Toby commanding centre stage there, coming in with a flurry of punches down the pipe and finishes it with a kick. As if you look at Toby's movement, he's con consistently controlling the centre of the cage and pushing Stewart right, right out the uh, right out the centre and right near the cage, right near the fence. That's not what Toby wants. Toby wants to control it, get in the centre, even uh, get trying for a taken or two. That would really, really benefit Stewart right now. Toby able to. Oh, big kick again. Stewart seems to check that quite well there. Not pulling his hands up as high as you'd like to see, but enough to check it with the elbow. Whole spinning back fist. There's an opportunity for a knee there for, for Toby. Didn't seem to take it. Toby really commanding the pace of this fight. Stuart circling on the outside. Bit of a slip there. He's just unable to get off, Harry. Now, to Toby Armitage is just completely running amok. I mean, Stuart's getting his shots in, but it's not quite enough. He needs to try and get that, get a takedown, get him against the cage. He needs a little bit more control if he's going to score any punch from this round. Nice leg kick there by Toby. Oh, return oh, fire. Stuart seems to be a little bit wobbled. He could be hurt here. I believe that left hand hurt him, Harry. He's trying to, he's trying to dance away, he's trying to get away, but stay composed. Seems to me Stuart's not really fully committing to these kicks, Harry. He seems to be stood on the outside, perhaps worried of the power of Toby. Yeah, he needs to mix them up with something. He's throwing kicks by themselves and it's not doing him any, any favours. He needs to mix them up on the end of a combination with a one-two and he'll find a lot more success with that. At the moment, he's telegraphing what he's doing. And that was a fantastic rotation by Toby. Toby utilising his wrestling skills up against the cage here this evening at Ice FC. Again, throwing those knees in. Hitting the leg there, Harry. But they can play dividends on a, on a fighter's spring if that, that lead leg can get pounded away. Yeah, they can completely wear down the legs. And it's just a little shot to the meat and the legs. And the bigger your legs are, the more, the more damage it's going to do. I mean, Stewart's now trying to get off the fence, but I think the shots and the pressure that Toby's been wearing down on him is really starting to play, coming come into, into play and being a, be a big factor now because Toby is just running all over him, keeping him pinned down against the cage, working however he wants to. Stewart desperately trying to suck those arms out there, Harry. Yeah, there's not much of an answer here for, for Stewart. And as the end rounds, I can't see it going any other way than in Toby's favour. Excellent dominating round there from Toby Amati. Stuart in desperate measures. He really needs to pull something out of the bag in this last round. I think I just saw Stuart then look at his corner, shake his hand, his, uh, his right hand. I think he's damaged his, no, his left hand, sorry. I think he's damaged his left hand in the exchanges. That may be why, you, why he's wearing off the shots and, and, not, and pulling them back a little bit more. But he's going to have to do something big in this round if he's going to if he's going to score any points. I think he may need a finish. Both fighters gaining instruction from their coaches, not breathing noticeably heavy, but taking some deep breaths there in the corner. They've they've worked diligently throughout this fight to impl implement their own game plans. But Toby coming up trumps. Yeah, Toby's running a mock so far. Controlling Stewart right wherever he wants him. He's controlling the middle uh, mid centre cage. And that's just exactly what Toby's wanted to gonna, want to gonna do if he wants to take this round even further. If it goes to the judges so far. 
Stewart's going to need something big, but he looks tired. He looks like he's going to see this fight through. Stewart circling there on the outside of the cage, throwing those leg kicks, but just not finding their mark. He needs to keep those hands up, Stewart does. He's been a bit too cosy with those hands down. That, that head kick connected. Toby coming in southpaw, nice straight left down the pipe. Beautiful leg kick on the outside and moves out of the way of Stewart's return fire. Stewart showing some athletic skills there, but like we said, he really needs to pull something out of the bag. He needs to look for the knockout, perhaps get the takedown, try and secure the submission because, I mean, we believe him, and most people do believe that he's behind on the scorecards here. He definitely is, and I think the way he's favouring that, that, that left hand of his, he's not throwing any strikes with his hands whatsoever, and it looks like he's just trying to see his way through this round. He really needs to put some, some one-twos together. He really needs to implement some sort of work. And he's getting caught. He needs to keep that chin down first and foremost. Been a bit too relaxed. Stuart coming in, almost walking onto the shots of Toby there. Nice parry there and lead jab over the top by Stuart. Needs to follow up with something heavy. Toby centre stage. Commanding the centre of the cage. Toby could definitely do with pouring the, the pressure on now. Kick it up a notch, he's doing exceedingly well. That body shot could have hurt Toby. It seems like Stuart smelt blood went in there and Toby's gone for the takedown. That was a fantastic body shot by Stuart. Just needs to try and circle and rotate off the cage. But I think the, the, the pressure that Toby's been pouring on, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a task. Toby really fighting a smart fight. He senses when he's on the up. He senses perhaps when he was hurt by that body shot and went straight to the takedown. He's just able to pull all the tools out on the table and use them quicker than Stewart has thus far. Yeah, the, the minute he felt it, Toby's felt he's in, been in trouble, he's immediately closed the distance and got him against the cage and worn him down a little bit more and then let off when he feels more comfortable. This is a fantastic game plan for him. Stewart threatening the guillotine briefly there. Toby senses it comes up. Again, we see the wrestling up against the cage. Nice knees on the inside by Toby. Stewart drops down, no avail there. He's not going to get that takedown when Toby's got those double underhooks like that. I think it was just a little exchange in the, in the groin area then. Stewart apologised to the ref. Oh, big shots there by Toby. In the final 10 of the round. Late flurry, late flurry by Stewart. Stewart's bringing everything he can to the table in the hope that he could perhaps get a knock. Yeah, well done, guys. Great Tonight, yeah, we have a unanimous decision for your winner. In the blue corner, Toby Amade. From the park, a good up for the young man, Stewart Howard. And your winner, Toby Amade. Well done, guys. Good scrabble. Well done, it's over there.